Hello there everyone, it's Carol here. Okay, on Sunday I talked about a technique about um, creating a crackled effect on card and one of the techniques that I used didn't work properly. So I'm going to try different scenarios um, to see if it creates a different effect and whether one works better than the other. So it means that today, Tuesday, you're going to actually get two videos um, about techniques. So when you want to create a crackle effect on uh, your substrate, there are specific uh, pastes, creams that you can utilize to create a crackle medium. You need to have a look at the labels or look for demonstrations of the medium that you've got or the medium that you're thinking of purchasing because some need slightly different methods for it to be able to work for this particular crackle medium you need to apply it and then leave it to dry before you then apply your second coat of paint okay but for today's video we're going to do something slightly different um, so I'm going to apply a base layer of silver acrylic paint onto these card pieces and this was an Amazon envelope, a big one, and I've cut them down into individual pieces of 3 inch by 6 inch. And we're going to use PVA glue to act as the crackle medium. So this is the one that I used on Sunday that didn't work very well and there are a couple of reasons why it might not have worked well. I'm going to use this one, which is my Hobbycraft Tacky Glue. I'm going to use Mod Podge Sparkle Glitter, because I don't have any other Mod Podge. I've got this Liquitex uh, Acrylic Medium Matte Medium, and then I've got my Liquitex Acrylic Matte Gel Medium, all right? So I'm going to use varying amounts of these types of glues on these pieces of card. So the top layer will have a thin layer of the glue and the bottom row will have a thicker layer of the glue, okay? And we'll see which one gives the best results. But first of all, I need to apply a layer of acrylic paint and this is the one that will show through as the cracks, okay? So I'm just going to use just a cheap Hobbycraft paintbrush and apply some paint onto the card. And I'm doing it on the backs of the card, the, where the text is. Um, and then I've got the plain blank side to be able to write on that because I'd like to make these into tags. So I'm just going to go off and go and paint all of these cards with this acrylic paint. And it's just a normal layer of paint, you know, not too thick, not too heavy, um, but definitely not too thin either. So you need to make sure that you've covered it well and then leave it to dry naturally um, before we apply the glues to it so I'm going to go off and go and do these and I'll see you back here in a bit so this is the last one that I need to paint and then I'm going to go and leave all of these to dry naturally and they've all got do the same amount of paint on. As near as dummy is to swearing. leave those to dry and then I'll come and add the PVA glue. Right, these guys are now literally dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a thicker layer of PVA glue on one and a thin layer of PVA glue on the other. 
I've already got my acrylic paint mixed up to the colour that I want, which is a really deep, rich purple. I had to use three acrylic paints to get this colour, um, so I didn't think you needed to see me doing that. Uh, just mixing them up. So, I'm going to put the thick layer on first. And this glue was quite runny, and this is the one that I demonstrated on the live so this is it so i'm just going to put uh oh, wrong brush carl i wanted that one so i'm just going to put a thick layer of pva glue or white glue as some people know it as onto the card this is maybe a touch too much <laughs> bit over exuberant there with the glue okay let's spread it about a bit and then I can take some of this excess off and I'm not bothered about getting it right to the very edge because I'm, I'm going to trim these down a touch anyway so let's take a little bit of that off because I know I said I wanted it thick but I don't think I want it that thick Okay, and then we'll put the thinner layer on, on the other one. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Because I think um, when I was de demonstrating it on the live, I, uh, I let it dry too long. And you need to do this technique with PVA quite quickly whilst the glue is still wet. Okay, so hopefully you can see the difference with the amount of glue that I put on. That is still maybe a tad too thick. I'm just taking a little bit of that off. Okay. And then I'm going to put my um, acrylic paint directly on top of that. <clears throat> As I say, whilst it's still wet. some on the thicker version and what happens is as the acrylic paint dries the glue underneath it also dries but the glue dries a little bit slower than the acrylic paint and that's what makes it split to form the cracks. Okay, cover that over a minute. I don't want that drying out. And already, look, you can see it's starting to split here. Just put my hand in the glue. What a numpty. Now, you might be tempted to heat them up with a heat tool, but you're probably better off just letting them dry naturally. And it takes a little while for this to happen. Um, as you can see with this thicker one, it's now starting to split a little bit. So I'm going to go off and go and do all of these and then I'll come back and show you the results.
just for one last experiment because we're putting the PVA down first and then the paint on top obviously the two are mixing together so I thought I wonder what would happen if I mix the paint with the PVA glue already and then see what happens So I've just mixed PVA with the acrylic paint and we'll paint that on top of one of the cards that I've got spare and we'll see what happens to this. Okay folks, it's some six hours later. That's how long it took for the glue to dry and some of these are still, they're cold which means they're still not quite dry. Um, these are the ones that failed. Oh, sorry. I don't want to hurt the glue's feelings. These are the ones that didn't quite pass muster. So this one was the, um, the matte gel medium. Okay, thin coat, thick coat. So that was that one. Mistakes. There's no mistakes. There are only opportunities. I'm sure I'll be able to use these. This one was the... Um, Liquitex matte medium uh, thin coat thick coat and this has ended up actually being a little bit textured so that's that one and then this one was the Mod Podge uh, sparkle again no crackling um, but created, created a, a pretty little glitter effect with some texture on there so again I'm sure I'll be able to use these but in terms of crackle they didn't work this was the result of the PVA glue, which was the one that I used on Sunday evening uh, that didn't work out. But I think, as I said at the time, it was because I didn't um, act on the glue whilst it was still wet. Um, so as you can see, it worked out quite well. And this PVA glue was actually quite runny. Um, so, you know, that was the thin one. That was the thick one. So it, it kind of worked. So second place for you mate and the overall winner was the tacky glue which was a much thicker pva glue and this was the effect that i got with those so this was the thin layer of glue and this was the thicker layer of glue um i did happen to put my fingers in a couple of them because <laughs> and the glue was still a bit wet and i, and I put me I put my fingerprint on it but you know, hey ho, never mind. But uh, it does work with PVA glue. I think that the crackle medium gives a much better effect, obviously, because it's designed for the purpose. But if you haven't got any um, and you want to have a go, then thicker PVA glue seems to be the better option. Um, although the thinner PVA glue works well too. Um, if I just line them up side by side... In fact, this one's still wet. So there you go. So those are the ones that worked best out of all of the glues that I used. Uh, but you'll need to play and experiment and do it on scrap card because if it goes horribly wrong and you've done it on, on your main piece, you won't be happy. So try it on some scrap pieces of card first and um, have fun playing. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye for now.